and this is Flamingoland Zoo and Fun Park in North Yorkshire. As former world water ski racing champion, I'm interested in all things aquatic. But being mad about animals, I was about to be offered a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get close to dolphins. There are three dolphins at Flamingo Land, and between shows I went backstage to meet their owner and trainer, Peter Bloom. Introduce me to the dolphins then, Peter. This is uh, Betty, and Sharky, and the Lottie there. And uh, they're all female bottlenose dolphins, and we've had them here for the last seven years. Amazing teeth, haven't they? <laughs> 88 of them, yes. They're not generally used for biting, they're used for gripping. They stop a fish from wriggling away once it's been caught. Are they aggressive to human beings, or soft as we think they are? Well, they, they, they are generally very gentle, but um, they uh, play very hard sometimes, and they can be extremely rough, yes. Especially dolphins that are used to people in the wild as well, you find that uh, they can even get aggressive on occasions, yeah, yeah. What sort of things do you do here at Flamingo Land with them? Well, obviously we, we are open to the public, so we do um, public presentation, but it's not just sit down, watch a dolphin jump through a hoop and, and off you go. We, we try and introduce a lot of uh, issues, like the tuna fishing uh, problem, for instance, into the whole performance. Now, the International Whaling Commission estimates that well over one million dolphins are killed each year in drift netting alone. Over a million. These nets are set primarily for tuna, particularly skipjack tuna, young yellowfin tuna. So, if you want to buy tuna, please be very choosy about the tuna that you're buying. Check the label very carefully. See if it has a disclaimer on it which uh, indicates the fish in the tin was caught in a way that doesn't kill dolphins and other types of marine life. In the winter we're closed, we can concentrate much more on uh, research. Uh, we're heavily involved at the moment in a project looking at their sonar and how they use it. And um, this is with Loughborough University and uh, Cambridge University. And uh, we'll look at any projects that are submitted and see if we can't um, work it in. Looking at the performances, how involved could I get with the dolphin? Well, with your uh, watery background, I'm sure we can arrange uh, three or four um, exercises that you physically can do with the dolphins in the water. Um, we can have them obviously uh, doing a number of the simpler things, and I think we shouldn't give we should give the uh, the water boost jump a shot. How does that one work? What it basically entails is you you go to the bottom of the pool, you lay out on the bottom. The dolphins or a pair of them, I'll keep one at the stage will come down to you, they will push on your feet, and you will steer yourself around the pool, and then you will come up in the center, and they will throw you 15, 20 feet into the air. 15 feet? Yeah. You can't be serious. How deep is this pool? It's uh, about four meters, about 12 feet. And I have to get right down to the bottom? Absolutely, yes. You have to go to the bottom. The dolphins will pick you up and bring you around and throw you out. Will you show me what to do first? Yes, we'll, we'll bring you, we'll take you downstairs to look through the glass and I'll give you a couple of uh, uh, dry runs. Dry runs? As in any professional setup, the expert always makes it look extremely easy. Well, now it was my turn to have a go. Your foot, and that was. <laughs> you can't get out now. That was a 
think on my foot. You just feel a sort of a tap on your foot. And all I had was one on my right foot. Yeah. You're moving about a bit, but it doesn't matter. They know what they're doing. So it's only a few well, I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. <laughs> and then the other one made contact. And don't you go fast? It's a real bad one. Yeah. <laughs> and then I felt, as I came around here, I felt like I was getting into a better position. Yes. And then they started going faster. I think my hands were all over the place at the start. I'm not surprised. I think you did very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they thought it was good too. Peter felt that the time was now right for a public performance, so stay tuned to find out how I got on. Back at Flamingo Land, a capacity crowd of 1,200 people had gathered to witness what might turn out to be the most embarrassing aquatic performance of my life. As I watched the show from the wings, I'd begun to lose my nerve. I can honestly say I haven't felt this much adrenaline flowing since I was competing. My stomach is going over and over and over. I feel like my heart's in my throat. I don't quite know where it's going to be when I get underwater. And we will have a bit of fun now with somebody in the water. Now this person came here today for the first time and she went in the water with the dolphins for the first time and she's going to try something that is extremely difficult. Now this lady is called Liz Hogg. She is the fastest woman ever on water skis. So please give her a big hand. She's coming out here to get her feet wet. Events. We're going to do three things with our lids here. We're going to ask her first of all to try and leap out of the water at 15 feet. Now we have to keep one dolphin out of the way here, otherwise it gets extremely painful. All right. Now I'm ready. Ready. All right. She goes to the bottom. The dolphin pick her up. Embarrassing. All right, a brave, valiant person. Give her a round of applause. All right, now we'll try the toe bit. If she's still alive. <laughs> you don't get fish, no. You're doing this for the love of it. Okay. Now let's see if we can get Liz a toe around the pool. Okay, in you go. In the middle. And I'll send two dolphins to you. Nobody said show business was easy. Off you go. Off you go. Okay, this is working. All right, here she comes. Well, at least something worked. and my confidence was returning. How's this for high jump?
shattered. Absolutely shattered. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you very much. That really was super. <laughs> Well, this isn't the last time in the series that I'll be thrown in at the deep end with animals, so stay tuned. I'll see you next week.